What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today we're actually going to be having a look at some brand new items coming in Sea of Thieves. Now as well as that we're going to be going over the patch notes as well as some other bits and pieces so let's get right into this. So the Sea of Thieves guys actually released a load of new things what are coming into the game. So as you guys know we have these images here, you may have seen them. We've got a load of new stuff actually coming into the game, cosmetics of course, we've also got the Freeman ship, a load of new designs as well as new pirate legend cosmetics, new clothing, tattoos and scars, campaign cosmetics. We have got a load of stuff, hairstyles and dyes, which does indicate that we will be able to change our hairstyle um, and as well as that dye our hair, which was the main thing. Obviously, we've been able to change the hairstyle, but we've been very limited with the customization what we have had. So really cannot wait to see what kind of stuff we actually get in this coming update. And it does seem very awesome indeed. With that, we also have some new stuff which we are going to be speculating. So you guys can see here, this is some brand new cannonballs. Now there is a character in the game who is actually currently cursing cannonballs. Now these cursed cannonballs we have heard about. So they'll do stuff such as raise the sails for the enemy team when you shoot them. There's also one which actually gets all of the pirates drunk. There's one which actually breaks their leg so they walk very slow as if they're jumped off of a high height. And then the last one actually has like stars and a moon i'm not too sure what that one could be it could possibly put them almost in a foggy place something like that i'm not too sure but if you guys do know about that i'd really like to hear your thoughts in that comment section below because this cursed cannonball thing i do think is going to change the way pvp works in a very very good way it'll make fights unpredictable so i really cannot wait to see that Next up, before we actually get into the patch notes as well, we do have Answer the Call to Arms. So this is for the brand new update, so it says, Ready your cannons as Cursed Sails arrives, the second free update for Sea of Thieves, debuting terrifying skeleton ships and more new content alongside a time-limited campaign. Pirate Dominion over the waters is being challenged by crews of skeletons, united by their warped desire for vengeance on the living. Each region will be called out, so prepare to fight to protect your favourite outposts. Form alliances to share the rewards of cooperation, or perhaps the new free person brigantine ship will help to even the odds. Meanwhile, piece together the origins of these cursed vessels by investigating a certain rogue trader. This update includes both permanent new content and time-limited events, so jump in during the campaign to fully enjoy the spoils of war. Now again, I really love the fact that they do loads of new content. The time-limited event is definitely going to be my favourite thing, as well as being a time-limited campaign. It makes me jump back on the game, so let me know your thoughts in that comment section below. Are you actually going to be playing on this update? Because I know I certainly am. And then last but not least, guys, we have the patch notes. So, ahoy pirates. The sunken curse Bilgrat adventure has ended, and the Sea of Thieves faces an unusual calm. Rumours abound of a new threat on the horizon, making the shopkeepers of Sea of Thieves nervous. Word in the taverns is that shops across the outpost will soon be lowering their prices to encourage sales, so clever pirates may wish to save their coin. In patch 1.1.8 also brings with it key performance improvements, crash fixes and additional fixes for other known issues. So for the updates we've also got great water and UI updates, so improved lighting, reflection and movement of the water within the ship and we've got the ampersands have been updated to be more visible and loading screens and in the UI header fonts, so very awesome indeed. Moving on to the performance improvements, we have got sinking items now despawn at the lowest depths, the player can swim to instead of sinking beyond. This improves overall gameplay performance, multiple server and crash fixes as well. So for the fixed issues, we've got the Executive Admiral Jacket no longer clips on muscular body types, flags no longer become detached from flagpoles when sailing, players no longer clip out of the sloop when interacting with banana or the food barrel, screen stutter has been reduced while sprinting and aiming down sights, 
and players who earned but did not receive items in the Hungering Deep will receive these upon next login. Now before we move on, I do want to point out something on the fixed issues. Now there has been a load of speculation on what Sea of Thieves is actually putting into the game, but we see here players no longer clip out of the sloop when interacting with the banana slash food barrel. Now when they say food barrel, that just leads to me that there will be different types of food that the pirates can consume. Hopefully these foods activate different stuff, so maybe faster sprint speed, uh, maybe even more health, and that kind of stuff. But let me know your thoughts in that comment section below. We've also got the known issues, so some players travel in an unintended direction when fired from a cannon. Some players may continue to hear muffled sound after being fired from a cannon. The UI and pirates in the Select Your Pirate Carousel may not be visible for some players. Some Skeleton Thrones titles were not correctly awarded to players who completed the required commendations. And then for the install size we've got 1.36 for the Xbox One, and then for Windows we have 965 megabytes. Very awesome indeed. Now, let me know in that comment section below if you guys are excited for this update. Like I say, I know I very much am. And what are you guys going to do first? Are you going to complete the campaign or have an investigation of some of the new stuff? But as always, peace out. I do hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.